two veterans. We are thrilled to have the aforementioned Sarge Guilfoyle along with Pence Wealth Management CIO Dryden Pence. Sarge, thank you for your service on this Veterans Day, but on every day. You don't often speak in superlatives about bond market auctions. What did you distill from that absent demand yesterday, and does it matter to equity investors? It does, and I, and I really am having a hard time trusting today because the market internals are really not all that great today, even though all the indices are really flying. We had a lot of negatives this week. Uh, University of Michigan told us that consumer confidence is on the wane. Inflation expectations are rising. The Fed SLU's report told us credit conditions are tightening. Demand for credit is weakening. The New York Fed told us that delinquencies are up, especially for credit cards. The trade desk told us that the 200 largest advertisers in the world have all cut back significantly over the past month. So what I think you might be seeing in Techland today is something of a gamma squeeze. And that's how I played it. So, yes, for equities, yes, the bond market is the dog. We are the tail, us over in equities land. Mm. We get wagged around by the bond market, and I, I'm setting up for a bearish start to next week. What about you, Dryden, as, as we continue? And by the way, Sarge is both Marine and Army. Your Army. Absolutely. Okay, wait, Ben, before we get to Dryden, Sarge, come on. Army yes. or Marine? You got to pick here. <laughs> Well, I have an excuse, okay? <laughs> I was a Marine. I joined the Marine Corps out of high school. And, uh, and when 9-11 came around, I tried to rejoin. I tried to rejoin the reserves, and uh, the Marine Corps turned me down because of my age. But the Army has a greater manpower need, so their age requirements wow. were a little looser. So I walked over to the uh, Fighting 69th of the New York Army National Guard and put my name on a piece of paper. And thank goodness you did. And, and to you, too, Dryden. I mean... Bronze Star winner, it's wonderful to have you, and you're you're a gold star investor. Tell us what you make of of the bond world, and as as Sarge puts it, actually that's the tail that's wagging the dog. I think there's a lot of overreaction. I think we're at this we're at this moment where I think the the panic around interest rates are over. The panic around all the all the adjustments are over, and so now we're getting to this moment where. We're, you know, probably it's a 50 basis points move, not a 500 basis point move, whatever adjustment the Fed makes next. And I think this is maybe the last gasp of this, of this you know, outsized reaction to things. So where do you invest at this point, Dryden? Uh, we, invest, we invest in the 493. I mean, you had the Magnificent Seven do really well during the first part of okay, the Okay, let's just let's translate that. Yeah. 493 minus the seven, well, together they equal the S&P 500. Exactly. But you're saying you don't need to go with the big tech guys that have brought this market up. No, because I think you're going to see a broadening rally because as people understand their cost of capital, everybody's beating earnings. They had brought earnings estimates down. And as every manager understands their cost of capital, you know, they're, they're very imaginative. American business has the ability to make money. And if they know the rules, they know cost of capital, I think we're going to see earnings continue to, do, to rise and do well, and we'll see continued beats. So we're, we're very constructive going forward. Well, Sarge, 80 percent, and Dryden correctly points this out, 80 percent of the S&P that has reported has beat on earnings per share, but only 60 percent beat on revenue. Which matters more when you're picking a stock? What matters more is it depends on how mature the stock is, I would say. Yeah. If, it's, if it's a stock that's more mature, I think that profitability matters more. If it's a stock that's rather youthful, rather young in its development, I think that you want to see sales growth more than, more than profitability, as long as their balance sheet shows that they can sustain some cash burn for a couple of years. So I, I think it really depends on the stock individually. Mm -hmm. And what stocks do you like, Sarge? Uh, you are very, very fastidious when you watch the levels you are very, very disciplined about selling your losers and, at, at certain points, your winners. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what I did today. Today, I'm, I'm buying Eli Lilly. Uh, I'm already long the name, but I added to it, even though it was above my net basis, because come Saturday, tomorrow, uh, Novo, Novo Nordisk, their, their drug, Ozempic, uh, they'll be coming out with, with completed uh, clinical trials that will show whether it can also double not only as a... Uh, as a diabetes drug and a weight loss drug, but also for heart disease. Mm. Now, Lily is a very similar drug, so I think if, if Novo gets good news on Saturday, Lily will show, show me good news on Monday. I also beefed up on SoFi, with, which is uh, Anthony Noto, who you have on your show often. That's his stock. I, I added to that on weakness today significantly. Uh, on the other side of the coin, I, I'm shorting the triple Qs. I'm shorting Netflix. I believe there is something of a gamma squeeze involved there. And I took some profits. I'm still long these names, but I took some profits today in AMD, NVIDIA, and ServiceNow. Oh, 
interesting plays he's got there, Dryden. Uh, you, as you look at some of the names here, you do still like an Amazon, which I find interesting because while some companies have said we're going to do well during the holiday season, others, say, for example, Apple, have said we'll basically be flat year over year. Well, I think the issue with Amazon is they are the how people do a lot of shopping. And while some retail estimates are down, the increase in online shopping is continuing. And so I think that people are going to continue to use Amazon to execute whatever shopping they do. That's increasing. And so we're, we're constructive on Amazon because it's just the volume moving through it. Before we, we wrap here, um, you and I were talking in the commercial break, and I thanked you for your service. And you said... If you thank me on the air for my service, I'd like to thank you for something. I want to thank you and really all of the American people for paying their taxes. You buy body armor that saves soldiers' lives. My daughter has a dad because someone bought me an armor-plated Humvee. Thank you. This is such an important message because people complain all the time about paying taxes. Look, the government doesn't use it in the perfect way that we want it to, but you're living proof, aren't you, that... Absolutely. ...that those are so crucial. Thank you so much, Liz, and I want, to, I want to thank the American people. You buy body armor that saves American soldiers' lives and send them home to their families. Okay, so stop complaining about paying taxes, everybody. I mean, is that a good, a good reason to do it, Sarge? Oh, of course. I mean, let's... Uh, it, for one, I'm sure that the colonel here will agree. When, I, when people thank me in public for my service, it kind of, I, I, I say sure, I, I act graciously, but it actually embarrasses me a little. I, I didn't do it to be thanked. I did it because I love this country. And I, and I did it because I love Americans, whether they agree with me or disagree with me, which it's just so, uh, we're so polarized in this society today. I, I think people have to move past that because yes. when I was younger, yeah, we thought poorly of guys who voted for the other guy every time elections rolled around. But in between elections, we didn't even talk politics. We, we have to get so far away from where we are right now. I couldn't agree more. It's wonderful to have you both. And we are so grateful to both of you. Thank you so much. Thank Brighton, you. Sarge. Sarge, who got his you nickname, bet. Sarge, while serving as an actual sergeant in reserve components of the Marine and the Marines in the U.S. Army. Dryden, and thank you. Three meritorious <laughs> service medals for you. It's so impressive. Thank you.